Great, another one who refuses to put on clothes. Just follow the orange line. Allow me to answer some of your questions. What are you doing here? You're here to test a device. What kind of device, you might ask? A device which allows you to travel between alternate dimensions. The rest shall be explained in time. Now most test subjects found that the first time you're required to hand over the orb before exiting an area. For safety reasons. As you may have noticed, some things might be present in one dimension, while not in the other. It seems like you understand the basic laws of interdimensional travel. These panels in the wall are meant to provide you with power cells. If you somehow lose one, you shall be provided with a new one. Just don't waste too many of them. They are a source of energy cells after all. Be placed in these slots to power an object. They're basically large batteries. At the end of each room, you can see how... You should be cautious approaching this next step, as only parts of the floor exist in this dimension. So, make sure to take a good look before you proceed. Use is different than the other ones. These are locked power slots, which means that once a power cell has been entered, it cannot be returned. This is indicated by the icon attached to it. Essentially what it does is, it takes the gravitational pull of an object, and repurposes it into energy. This way we can get energy out of nearly anything, mm. so we're not just limited to power cells. What? Where did you get that? You haven't been messing with the cameras, have you? Hmm. All cameras within this room appear to be functional. What you just walked through is an energy field, one that only allows objects to pass through one side, the blue one allowing objects to pass through, while the orange one blocks an incoming object. These energy fields tend to be flipped in the second dimension, however, this can differ. Early tests of the energy fields show that test subjects sometimes got stuck in them, losing body parts. However, these issues are fixed now, for the most part. Interesting fact. This test has no chance of you dying in it. It's also my least favorite test. It might be because of the gravity vortex. It's designed to only work on non-biological objects. However, some tests indicated that it might still work on your internal organs. But you seem fine, so continue.
As you may have noticed, these tests are bottomless mixing tests, and yes, they are indeed bottomless. Wait, don't ask how we make what them. Here? Their purpose is to make sure that our subjects oh, have good spatial awareness. It appears the elevator is broken. You know, I didn't want to have to do this, but it appears you'll have to be taking a side route. Fair bit of advice. Don't touch anything. I must get this fixed, and look into something. you've managed to find your way. Good. However, you've also managed to skip two tests. But I'll see it through. This test is a standard maze. However, to exit it, you must find a power cell hidden somewhere within the maze. Found the power cell, we must find the exit. Careful attention to the order in which the platforms move. Subjects had trouble figuring out this test due to the moving platforms. Let's hope you can get better. I'm surprised you've managed to get this far. You're getting close. Continue the next test. Let's see how you do. These are newer versions of the energy fields. They come in larger frames. To the next part of the room, you must find a power cell hidden in one of these six rooms. Thank you. 
Remember a while back when I said that was the last test? That wasn't entirely true. However, it was the last test with that one. We have a newer version waiting for you a few rooms further. It has some new features which might surprise you. This newer version requires a lot more energy to function, so we had to build an entirely new charging station for it. Now, because of the greater amount of energy